Pokemon Companio. Look at how cute it is. Oh, she's cute. Oh my goodness. Such a little tiny destructive little bugger. Look at that devil baby. Look at her just being a devil. Please fall on your head. Please fall on your head. Please fall on your head while you eat my plants. Please fall on your head while you eat my plants. Do it. And so it begins. Today is the first really hot day of the year. And um, here comes the helicopters. We have about eight um, mature maple trees that give off the big helicopters in our area here. In uh, we're gonna be in trouble. We're gonna have some helicopters. Hi, Tank. What a good boy. Getting some sun. Let's go look at the garden. What a difference a day can make. With the nice warm day today, the seeds for the squash and the, the little cotyledon leaves are just exploding. I'm not sure that there, it looks like there's two, three, six, maybe six squash plants in there. I'll have to thin them out after they come up. This one's the honey bear. Looks like we've got three healthy ones. I don't, yeah, I don't see any other ones coming up yet, so hopefully we'll have three to choose from. And look at how big our beans are getting already. So that really has exploded since last night. So that's, that's going to be very fun. Here's my blueberry plants. They're doing pretty well. Um, that considering where they've come from, um, it's it's always been somewhat of a struggle for me to get them to grow. So um, they finally have a home. They have mulch and they have some some animal netting because for it must be a rabbit delicacy. They'll just chew them right down to the ground. I do have three different varieties uh, in here. I don't know what they are to be honest. Um, but it looks like this front one is the happiest. Might have a label on it. I could dig it out of there, but uh, but I, I do see that we have some flowers, and I hope that we will have some some fruit on it. It would be exciting to have some blueberries. Um, I had a few last year, but um, yeah, it's exciting. So I'm going to have to redo this area. I'm going to make that net bigger, obviously expand out that area. And I have some fertilizer that I ordered from Amazon that should be coming soon that um, maybe we can get the foliage to be a little bit more healthy. It looks like it's a little yellow, so I'm going to add some fertilizer to that. And then just the beautiful garden view from over here. So much fun. Just a little touch base on, on some of the things that are just coming up and, and still just starting to thrive is these are my tree lilies and man it is May 31st today and they're just sticking their noses up so um, yeah it's a, it's a late late year this year but I was happy to see them coming up because they're my favorite. It'll be fun to show those over the, over the um, season here. We also have um, some planting that I did today. So some of the planting that I did today, I, it looks like I have some sad cosmos. I know that um, when Bill comes home, he said that he was going to water. So, so we'll get the rain barrels going after. And here is a beautiful marigold that I planted in there. What a pretty color. I love that. Um, we also, excuse my nose, I'm sorry. The lilacs are blooming and it's just a problem for my nose. I put this giant pot back here today um, with the castor beans in it. I just love castor beans. And, and there really isn't anything real close to this that's real tall. So, so this will add some nice height to this part of the garden for the summer. Um, along with um, some of the some of the really tall canas. Canas, why do I always call them canas? Along with the really tall zinnias. And... Um, Back here is another another big leafy plant that will start to come up soon. 
We had a yard schlock roll over because the uh, ants got all up in the duck's business, and so I turned it over so that the ants can move along. Um, over here I planted um, the rest of my ground cherries. I got three more plants. I've got a total of nine. I've got some in, uh, oh, I've got a total of eight. I shared one with my dad. Um, I've got um, three here, three in a pot back there, and then one in a single pot to, to see how they do. I've never grown them, so I don't know, I don't know how they'll do. Um, and then this is kind of a fun little garden I just dug up and got kind of the grass out. Um, it used to, like, cut up up there and it was just kind of a pain to mow it so we're where I was trying to do easier mow lines so we we cut that edge off of there so put some marigolds that I started from seed which is probably not as exciting to some people but it's fun for me to finally have had some success with it and also that is a, a Baker Creek Queen something salvia and um, so yeah I had that in the ground hopefully that as as it takes over will fill in that area a little bit and yeah, pollinator friendly. It's 85 out today, so it's a it's a nice warm day. First first real warm day since uh, last year, I think. He thinks that the bunny got me. I got hit by a branch, and now he thinks the bunny got me. So he's out to to save mom from the bunny. Good job, bud. Good job. All right. So. So one of my projects today was to get the um, the cold frame used to be in this open area here. I got that out there and um, I got the grass all dug up so that we can put a little path that goes into the garden back there and then um, finish up the herb garden on either side. I think I'll probably put, I have some dahlias and some, some more things like that that I can put in the garden today. So, um, so I think I'll probably line the path once I figure out exactly where I want the path. Got it loaded up on the wheelbarrow. Still not sure where it's headed to, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I can figure that out. It's gotta have a house back here for the summer. Maybe throw it back there with a tarp over it. It'll be okay. Here's another pride and joy uh, <laughs> mortgage lifter. I don't know why I love them so much, but I do. Hopefully, I'll fall in love with a different tomato this year. Um, but I have this giant pot that. Um, that I filled today with some compost and some potting soil and uh, get this one going. So that's exciting. It's exciting again to see the progress of the one on the patio to know that, um, you know, give these give these guys a head start and they'll get going. So that's exciting. This one actually had a few blooms on it and I did, I did pick them off. We do still have our cardinal and our greenhouse. Um, she was very angry at me for peeking at her earlier, so she's she's in there on her nest. I really wish we could get a better angle of her, but we just can't. I won't go in there. I did a little bit of work back here. It looks like we really need some water back on these pots back here. Again, it's it's you know 85 and hot in the sun, and it's the very first day of that, so everything is reacting negatively. It doesn't know it doesn't know what to do. But it's supposed to be normal tomorrow. It's supposed to be 70, 75 for a high tomorrow. So I'm not too worried about it. It'll pop back. Those brassicas just don't like that. Um, I did come come and do a little bit of replanting here. Um, uh, the, the lemon. The lemon cucumbers just didn't come up, so I threw some more seeds in there. I found a couple of, like, squishy seeds in there, so we'll start over with those and try those. These were some, um, in this pot over here, are some mini bottle gourds, which I love gourds. I love playing with the birdhouse gourds and all of that, so um, I've never grown the mini ones, so the seeds, I had actually germinated them on a... On a um, in a plastic bag, and, and they came up, so I... I thought they were too old to come up, but that's wonderful. So that might grow back here along with the cucamelons on the other side of the trellis. I'll move that one over there. It's a fun little update of the, um, the hops and how high they're growing. They're, um, so the, the top of the trellis there is 10 feet, so they're about a good, good 8, 9 feet tall now. And uh, getting higher, that's the one side. and. Here's the other side that um, <laughs> the sun's a little wicked right now, but 
Ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful plants. We love them. They'll, they'll get nice and full like this all the way up and, and then pile up on top of the trellis for the summer. So it's a really fun, fun plant to have. Here's a kind of a fun thing back in here is our, um, this is a forsythia that has been through a lot. It, it, the first year that I had it, it got broken off to the ground and then it came back up and it was planted in kind of a dumb place and then it it needed to be, it, well you can see it's kind of got a arc to it there and oh, it, then it took over the area that it was in and so then we moved it back here and it's got these just sad little bit of green that sort of came up on some of the branches but but the base is starting to grow back so there is some hope for it we're gonna pull some of these we've been pulling out some of these um, ferns to let some light get to it and um, hopefully we can get it to grow back again it'll be the miracle for Cynthia if we can get it to grow back so it'll be fun just the fun pretty things that are blooming in the garden right now are the the lily of the valleys are back here and just such a pretty little flower and that's just a just a delicate touch to the garden. Just gorgeous. Hi little sweetie. Did you come in from outside because it's just too hot? Tank. Hi. Good boy. Mm -hmm.